Did you know that your spirit spouse can kill you and the man you love or the woman that you love? Did you know that your spirit spouse can drive away your boyfriend and your girlfriends? Did you know that your spirit spouse can cause you to get a divorce? That thing will not let up until you are divorced. And then all of a sudden, you and your ex can be best buddies because the goal has been accomplished. Divorce. I have... Um, Lots of instances where I have helped people get delivered from the spirit spouse. Now, was their life perfect after I finished? I didn't say it was. But because a person can have more than one spirit spouse. So let me just go to this one case. Um, last year, I was praying for a lady. And this spirit spouse had been in her family for 17 generations. 17 she heard things like oh this thing came in it brought in the spirit of Baal it came from Romania and Africa and it came in through a birthright you know people do birth rituals over babies and just basically they're dedicating the baby to the devil and some of that is cultural Oh, we always do blank to the baby. We always, <laughs> they are giving the baby to the devil, okay? Um, the, the, the purpose of the spirit spouse was to control. Um, it brought in deception, hate, lack, rape, okay? And it came to block marriage. And it also um, brought in human sacrifice. All this is up under the spirit spouse, okay? Demons report to higher ranks. They come in ranks. So the spirit spouse is a very high ranking spirit. And it brings in all this other stuff. So you can get delivered from rejection and still have issues because the spirit that brought it in, the spirit that rejection reported it to reports to is still there. That's why I always go up the chain. So the spirit spouse always clothes a person in certain clothing and objects in the spirit realm. You can't see it to the naked eye, but if you can see in the spirit, you'll see it. Um, so this thing put on her, put a black veil on her. What does a black veil mean? You're grieving for somebody who died. Um, it hides her. It blocks her from being seen from her real husband. It blocks her from being seen as a prophet. This veil not only blocked her marital life, but it blocks her spiritual giftings. This thing put an upside down cross on her head, representing the Antichrist. It put a nose ring in her nose that represents Baal, Moloch, Mammon, Jezebel, Abaddon, Apollyon, Calphedron, I ain't even heard of this. Calphedron came from Assyria and it's Baphomet. And the great grandfather called it in through a water ritual. Good old great, great grandfather. It's always a grandfather. No, usually it's always a grandmother. <laughs> but then grandfathers, they do it too. Um, they put on her a garment of sorrow and poverty. This thing put on 21 rings. Let me tell you what they meant. They represented ownership. Ownership. She was to be owned like a slave. Lack. Poverty. Binding. Loneliness. Grief. Depression. Obesity. You wonder why you can't lose weight? The spirit spouse. Visitations at night. This thing comes to her at night. Promiscuity, loss of hope, depression, low self-esteem, anxiety, self-hate, misery, widow. That means if she found a man, if this thing didn't manage to kill him before he got there, it was going to kill him after she married him. Widow, illness. Now, I know I repeated something. 
misunderstanding. You know how you have misunderstandings with your husband, your wife? That's a demon sent into the marriage to break it up and sabotage. Okay? It bound her, uh, it bound her mind with chains. She saw it with chains around her head and her feet. And she said she used to hear tra- chains being dragged on the ground as she walked. She used to hear that with her own ears. On her feet, it put black shoes representing death and it put shackles on her ankles. Okay. It put a necklace on her, meaning, and it meant bondage and control. It put a crown on her head. Uh, which represented high priestess. Now that is definitely a bride of Satan thing. And you know, in the bride of Satan rituals, basically it's a gang rape ritual. And you're basically inviting all these demons in you. All right. So I'm just letting you know, the spirit spouse is over a lot of different strongholds. If you are trying to get delivered, you gonna you're gonna have to get delivered of these spirit spouses. You can have more than one. Yes, you can. Think this is only one spirit spouse. Okay, I don't know. I didn't know. I didn't go into any other ones. I ain't had that kind of time. We were already on the phone like four hours. Okay. So anyway, I'm just letting you know. I do have a class called Spirit Spouse Deliverance. People have been through this class multiple times. Okay, peeling off the layers and layers of spirit spouses. A lot of spirit spouses came in through slavery. When um, slave owners would own the women through a contract, they made them sex slaves. Um, Even outside of slavery of the African-Americans, there's sex slavery all over the world. Maybe your mother sold her body so she could feed the family. It was maybe you there's prostitution in your bloodline. You have to break that. Maybe there's homosexuality. Maybe you're maybe you're from Greece and there were brothels um in your ancestry. Maybe your ancestors visited brothel brothels and you don't know why all these homosexuals keep coming up to you. You know what I'm saying? It's a spirit. You can get delivered. So click the link below or am I in the description to check out my class on thinkific.com called Spirit Spouse Deliverance. It's not just for if you're married or want to be married, but it will help break curses off your kids too. I hope this was helpful. Comment below if you want some more information.